Hey fellow thrill seekers, get ready for an exciting dive into the glitzy world of Hollywood with a unique twist because we're about to uncover some of the biggest names in Tinseltown who proudly wear their Christian beliefs on their sleeves. There are actors who aren't afraid to let their faith shine as brightly as the Hollywood sign. Reese Witherspoon is most well known for her work on Legally Blonde, Walk the Line, and most recently, The Morning Show on Apple TV. In an interview with LA Times, she talked about her faith. She stated, I don't have a lot of fear, that's true. There's a time and a purpose and a place, and I don't fear death because I know there's a heaven. I just know it. I feel this incredible acceptance that everyone has a gift and we're all God's children, and your purpose in this world is to find the gifts that God has given you. What an exceptional quote. Next, I want to look at Matthew McConaughey. To that, I say, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's right. McConaughey is a Christian. The winner of Best Actor for his role in Dallas Buyers Club is also known for his work on Wolf of Wall Street, Interstellar, and Contact. He spoke with Joe Rogan about his beliefs on his show. Here, you are religious in some way. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I want to I want to bring this up in this day and age when people go, no, I'm not religious. I'm only spiritual. You know what the Latin root of religion is? Re legare, and legare means to bind together. Re means again. Well, in a world that's saying I'm only spiritual because I want unity, that's exactly what religion means. We've bastardized the, the meaning of it over time and we've excluded people and we've corporatized it and such, but yes, I am religious. Now McConaughey worked on a film with our next person in Ghosts of Girlfriends Past, which featured Lacey Shaber. Lacey Shaber is best known for her work as Gretchen Wieners in Mean Girls. That little one, it's Gretchen Wieners. She's totally rich because her dad invented toaster strudel. Lacey has gone on record saying, my faith has always been the center of my life. My faith brings me great hope and I don't know what I'd do without my relationship with God. Now I have a serious question for you. Have you seen Full House? Of course you have, who hasn't? Do you remember this girl? That's DJ Tanner and she's played by Candace Cameron Bure. Bure is a prime example of a Hollywood celebrity who's been incredibly open about her Christian faith. The Full House and Fuller House star has seamlessly integrated her faith into a public persona. And if you know Candace, you probably know her brother, Kirk Cameron. Kirk Cameron has undoubtedly carved out a unique niche for himself as a faith-based actor in Hollywood. He has risen to fame through his role as Mike Seaver in the hit TV series, Growing Pains. He has starred in very successful faith-based films, including Fireproof. This movie not only showcased his acting skill, but also conveyed a powerful message about family, marriage, and faith. However, one of the most significant milestones in Kirk Cameron's career was his involvement in the Left Behind film series. Based on the popular book series of the same name, these films depict the events of the rapture and the end times from a Christian perspective. I'm currently reading these books, and they are a wild ride. I do recommend them. There's also a brand new Left Behind movie that stars the legendary Kevin Sorbo. Kevin Sorbo has been widely public about his faith and has starred in several faith-based films, including the very popular God's Not Dead series. And if you're not sure who Sorbo is, he's most well known for playing the Greek demigod Hercules. Now, believe it or not, there is also another well-known A-list star who has played Hercules and is publicly a Christian, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I just you know, had to put my faith in God and continue to work hard and hopefully good things will happen. So is that what's kept you going, faith in God? Uh, my faith and, uh, and um, certainly my family and the support, the support group I have around me. The Rock's co-star in the film Pain and Gain is another devout Christian, Marky Mark. Your faith means so much to you. Do you have you always talked about it or did you feel I at have. some point like, okay, I have a platform here and I just want to share this part of my journey. I have, you know, it's, it's a balance. I don't want to jam it down anybody's throat, yeah. but I do not deny my faith. That's, that's an even bigger sin. You know, it's not popular in my uh, industry, but you know, I cannot deny my faith. Mm -hmm. It's important for me to share that with people, but I have friends from all walks of life and, and all different types of faiths and religions. So, you know, it's important to respect and honor them as well. Yeah. Raised in a Catholic family, Wahlberg's faith has remained a constant throughout his life. Wahlberg also worked alongside Denzel Washington in Two Guns. Mr. Washington is also a man of God. In an interview, he shares his experience. Who gave your life to Christ? At what age? Well, a couple of three times, you know. <laughs> you, you had to make sure. You had that. to make sure. Okay, well, I, I, gave it, I gave it up. You know, early on, I was like, shoot, this is it. Then I was like, and this is, I'm laughing, but I was filled with the Holy Ghost and it scared me. I said, wait a minute, I didn't want to go this deep. 
you know, I just want to party, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, in, in fact, in, in uh, 1981 or 82, Robert Townsend took me. Yeah. I went to yeah. church with Robert Townsend, and, and when it came time to come down to the altar, I said, you know, this time I'm just going to go down there and give it up and see what happens. And I went in the prayer room and gave it up and let go and experienced something I've never experienced in my life. Now, Ben Affleck has also been very open about his faith. Check out this quote, The world would benefit from more of Jesus' instructions to forgive and extend grace. I think those are extremely powerful ideas and very, very relevant. Probably more relevant today than ever. Ben Affleck became a Christian later in his life when his now ex-wife Jennifer Gardner brought him to church. The Batman star stated, I struggle with belief, but I do see that there's something enormously beautiful and elegant about the notion that we are all sinners and that it's our job to find our redemption, to find God's love, to redeem ourselves, to live the best life that we can, to love one another, to not judge one another, and to forgive one another. Jennifer Gardner was his Daredevil co-star and she has also worked on a faith-based film called Miracles from Heaven. And after doing this film, she had this to say. She stated, there was something about doing this film and talking to my kids about it and realizing that they were looking for the structure of the church every Sunday. So it was a great gift of this film that it took us back to finding our local Methodist church and going every Sunday. It's really sweet. Chad Michael Murray is the next one on our list. He has gone on record to say that he will not do movies that compromise his faith in any way. I feel stronger and safer walking onto my sets every day knowing that I have God with me there every day. Jesus is there with me every day and when you have that comfort, you feel safe, you feel different, you feel the opportunity to handle more, your shoulders are bigger and you can carry more weight. The One Tree Hill star played Buck Williams in the 2014 adaption of Left Behind. Tyler Perry talks about prayer to Steve Harvey. Check this out. First, all the time, why is prayer important to you? Are you kidding me, man? I, and I talk about this in the book. My, my mother and grandmother would talk to me about prayer all the time. And just, they taught me about God and faith in yeah. Jesus Christ. And had I not had them in my life, I don't know where I would be. Because what I found is that you, if your kids are going through something, they're going to turn to something to get through it. And right. if you don't teach them about faith, then what else? They have other alternatives that they'll go to that, may, right. that, that, that aren't right. great alternatives. So we know Tyler's a Christian. Steve Harvey is also a devout Christian. If you're trying to make it in this world without God in your life, you're making it way harder than it's got to be. I'm telling you, man, I did it. I did it without him. It does not work. Chris Pratt is known for his roles in the popular franchise like Guardians of the Galaxy, Jurassic World, and Parks and Recreation. God is real. God loves you. God wants the best for you. Believe that. I do. The next actor is Dennis Quaid, the Parent Trap actor shared with People Magazine about his faith. I grew up at the Baptist Church and I, I love the, all the hymns that come from there uh, that I remember from being a kid. And uh, then I've written some songs uh, that are very much in the faith category, I think. Zachary Levi is best known for his series Chuck, his work as Flynn Rider on Disney's Tangled, and as DC's superhero Shazam. Levi ended up hitting rock bottom and felt suicidal and felt that he had lost all hope, but that God had saved him from that. Levi's book, Radical Love, is based on the teachings of Jesus to love others, including your enemies. So which actor on this list surprised you and which one do you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Vic. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.